We now want to connect our Touch E3 to the router that's in the house and this is going to enable us to set up the phone app. So we go into menu, 10 second push on our little red dot settings button and we come down until we find Wi-Fi settings. We then go research networks. It will go searching for any Wi-Fi service that is in the house at the time. And we find the one that we want to connect to. This can take a little while. Now it's shown the different Wi-Fi's that are available in the area. So I scroll down until I find my Wi-Fi. The one here is this one. And then I will use the key that comes with the router card and I'll type in my password. I'll go tick, it will count down and that should log on to the router. That router will now be connected. When it's connected, you're gonna see that you've got an IP address and it'll give you a green tick Normally it'll say either one of two or two of two. Now one of two means I'm connected to the router. Two of two is actually showing that I'm connected to the server in Sweden that is giving me access to the phone app. If for some reason this doesn't work in the research networks area, you can go into manual and type in this SSID, so I would type in Telstra 2033, exactly how it's written on your router card, put in the password and it will find it that way. Okay, so that's how we've connected the E3 Touch to your network in the house. On your phone, whichever model phone you have, you go into the App Store or Play Store like this, you go into the search, and we type Clever Touch, and it's come up here, Clever Touch Gen 2. It's got the LVI symbols, that's the one we're looking for, and we install that onto our phone. This one's already installed, so I won't try to override it, but you're looking for that symbol, and download that into your phone. So that's step one. Okay. We open up the app, create an account, email address and a password, and then confirm your password. This will get sent off and then you'll get a validation. You'll get an email come back to this email address that you've nominated, allowing you to validate the app. Once that's been validated, you then sign back in to this app using email and your password. It comes up with this screen, list my Touch E3. I push the plus. Now, because the Touch E3 hasn't actually been activated yet, you've got to send this pairing code. So we go send code. It's gonna send a code to the email address that you've nominated. Wait for that code to come back once we've got the code, we come into Menu, Wi-Fi, Online Pairing Code, and we put that code into here. We then push Tick, and that will then connect this Touch E3 to the server in Sweden. Once that's done, everything that's on this controller will now show up on your phone. So now when I come in to list my Touch E3, I'll get a symbol saying which E3 it is. When I open this up, it's gonna have all the rooms of the house where I can go in and do exactly the same controls as if I was controlling it from here. 